Number one enemy of planning is looking for who to blame. Always waiting for someone to help you. Please accept responsibility. Plan your way out of that trouble like the prodigal son. Enhance your value by tapping into God giving potentials in you. In John chapter 5, there was a man at a pool called Bestada. This man was there for 38 years. How many years? He was busy telling Jesus, I have no man to help me. Okay, if no man was to help you, who was giving him food? Because he would have died if no one was giving So means that people were giving him food. But he had no what? The only problem he had was he had no, it is called Bestada syndrome. Many of us are that. Nobody now. Nobody now. See me now. Always blaming people. Oh, if not for the government. If not for that. Uh, uh, you're always looking for who to. My friend, blame yourself. Number two. Enemy of planning is what I have is not enough. That is, I don't have mentality. Planning is using what you have to get what you want. God never used something that was not available to create something available. Everywhere God did a miracle, he used what was available to create what was needed. Five loaves, multiplied. Water, to wine. So whatever you have is enough. Is what? Just think and plan. What you have is enough to start with where you are. Money well managed is enough to start with. While money not well managed will be wasted. If you are not a resourceful planner, nothing will ever be enough. Anytime you say, oh, money I have is not enough, you don't plan well. That's the problem. Number three. Excuse this. Number three is what? Luke 14, 18 to 20. And they all with one concept began to make what? Excuse. The first said unto him, I have bought a piece of ground and I must needs go and see it. I pray they have me what? Excuse. And another said, verse 19, I have bought five yoke of oxen and I go to prove them. I pray they have me what? Excuse. 20. Another said, I have married a wife and therefore I cannot come. Each one was given what? Excuse. In Romans 2 verse 1, it said, Therefore thou art inexcusable Oh man, you can't plan if you are used to giving excuses. Excuses keep people on the floor. I would have done this if not for. There's always an excuse to give. I, I would have prepared message. Just imagine me coming on so say, I would have prepared message if not for the thunder that struck yesterday. I would have done the message, but you know now, all of you know that my hand Sunday. So I would have prepared message. You, who is concerned with that one? Do your work. If not that. Nigeria, no light. Before, was that, was that light? You know, never light, so no way to read. That's why. My friend, plan your life. Plan what? And stop giving excuses. There's always an excuse to give if you don't want to plan. Number four, lack of value for time. Lack of what? Every successful plan is a time investor. The time you don't invest, the devil and his agents will destroy it. Say God forbid. Ephesians 5, 16, the time for the days are worth evil. Manage your time well. Invest in planning. Time not well managed will be trashed. Manage every hour of the day. Are you hearing me? If you are a planner, every time, there are people who don't value what? Listen, if you don't value time, it's a sign that you're not going somewhere. Are you getting me? Time is money. Hope you know. You can get money lost. You can't recover time lost. 2021 is what? You can't recover it. But if you lost money, 2021, you can't recover it. But you can't recover 2021. That year is what? 2022 is, will soon be gone. But people don't value, especially in this part of the world, people don't value what? Oh my God. People don't value time. Somebody can wake up in the morning and come to your office and sit down. And say, bro, I want to tell you about burial. So someone died last week. So I felt this morning I should come and inform you. You left your office, all you came for is for burial. And it's also, bro, you know, I have to tell you, you, have not, you don't come home, so I have to let you know what has happened in the village. You know, that man don't die. So we are planning this weekend. Monday morning. Number five, working with goalless people. When you work with purposeless people, you will miss your target in life. Iron sharpened, Proverbs 27, verse 17. He that walketh with the wise shall be wise. A companion of fools shall be destroyed. Stop working with people going nowhere, otherwise you will end up nowhere. Watch out for these enemies. And as you take genuine steps into the realms of planning, I see you walk into a great future. And God has prepared for you in the name of Jesus.